Kitchen as one of the noisiest corners of the footballing world. No decibel spared in this collective chorus. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's 4-3-3. Uh, yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. We have already started here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man. And he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. No argument from me on that front. It's uh, easy to see how his presence alone affects both sides. Tony Martinez. Challenge just a bit on the firm side. Good spot, he's seen the run. Fabio Cardoso gets rid without sophistication. That is lovely. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. There's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side. Dogged. Tony Martinez! And the follow-up. Now, who's going to be picking pounce on that? And they've got a throw. Knocks it away. Porto making a good start. Nice level of intensity in their play. Fabio Cardozo. And it's played forward. Porto really are pushing their fullbacks forward now. Aiming to do what? Well, it's a case of engaging your opponents further up the pitch to take the sting out of opposition attacks. It's effectively a wide press. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Oh, played through for the wide man. Torkan Azar. And that's a throw in. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. Massive leap! That's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Tries to get it clear. And now they can spring out of defence. And it's lofted through here. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. Pepe moved forward and quickly so. The pressing's intense, and it's paid off. Torgan Azar. Augustinsson. Oh, no. No circumventing this opponent. And the counter is on. 
Tony Martinez gets his pass away. João Mario is wide and looking to get onto this. Torgan Azar defending his corner stubbornly, stood up very well to his man. Driven forward. It's an inviting looking ball that. The Tongan spots it and intercepts. Torgan Azar. Threads one in. Well, that's an excellent interception. And it's hoisted clear. That's tidy. And here's the chance to counter. What a throw in. Shooting chance! Torgan Azar was only too happy to help out in defence. Ah, he's dealt with that very well, Peter. It's a, a real show of discipline. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. And that'll be the final action of the first half. But it has been a half largely of could-haves and should-haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel they're overdue a goal, but it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. Played out towards the right wing. Very nicely done. Danger averted for now. Zaidu Sanusi. And it's Pepe. Gruic. Fabio Cardozo. And it's Pepe. Shifted upfield. Galeno. Looking for the runner. Zaidu Sanusi. Oh, he's felt that, hasn't he? Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him pass. Oh, that is a nice touch. That's going to go a long way. Anderlecht have it back and they can go again. Vertonghen. No, that's been intercepted. Played out to the left flank. Oh, that's delightful. A muscular approach does pay off here. 
Well, he is the type of character who rises to this sort of challenge, and he will be back for more. That's the throw. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. João Mario. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. Great run on the overlap here. That is good strength. Shot could... Galeno! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Well, they deserve an awful lot of credit for their commitment to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. Oh, good spread. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. He is just caressing the ball. And the shot! <laughs> They've played it short. Conceição. Oh, that's well done, really robust. Porta merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. That's gone for a throw-in. Oh, nice touch. in for the header it's run loose who's gonna get there well there's the clearance you wonder if that's it now but there may be one more opportunity peter for tony martinez oh it's in save the best for last And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. He had the whole picture in his head, Peter. He didn't even look at the goalkeeper. Porto take the lead, now it's just a question of holding on. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Great defending, strong and determined. And that's it.